All right, we are trying to solve a differential equation. And if we take a look at it, we can see that we can see all kinds of terms that uh, they're not necessarily in the right form that we usually like them. Like, for example, we have a T in the beginning of it. That's uh, not good. And we have two Ys. We kind of would like those together. What is this term? T squared doesn't even have a Y in it. So it's all over the place. So let's do a little work and rearrange this to make it be a better, more a more better recognizable equation for us. First, divide by t. This will get rid of this one and it's going to allow us to have it in proper form where we're going to have a 1 at the beginning. Here it is. Now our y prime has only a 1 in front of it and all these terms are reconfigured. Now, next step, uh, there's this uh, here a y and there's another y here. Well, let's factor out the y and combine them together. Here it is. 1 minus 1 over t times y. These two together. Now, all we have left is this t. I don't like this t on this side. So, usually when we have this, it's good to throw it on the other side of the uh, equation sign. And therefore, we're going to arrive to a form that we can see and it's much easier to recognize that it's a nice differential equation y prime we have a y here and here we only have a simple uh, function and if we take a look at it we can see that this would be our px and rx and there's nothing else so let's go ahead and solve this with the integrating factor Here's the formula for it, if you guys forgot it, a quick reminder. Now I'm pretty much proceeding by plugging stuff in. Here it is, our integrating factor, e to the integral of p, right here, right? So we're going to go ahead and plug it in, 1 minus 1 over t, that's our p, this everything that's inside the parentheses, take the integral, integral of 1, is t integral of minus 1 over t is minus ln t. Now we're going to proceed to break this up. e to the t divided by the negative shows that we have a division, right? So that goes in the bottom and e to the ln t. And the e and the ln cancel each other out, so all we have is a t. So e to the t divided by t. Now the next step in this process, we're going to take the integrating factor and we're going to multiply our equation by the, every single term of it with this. And we're not going to use this form, we're going to work with this form right here, the one that we turned into a nice form. So take this times the integrating factor, every single term, and here it is, you can see, e to the t divided by t times y prime, just like we have it here, the parentheses, times y, times e to the t over t, and on the right hand side of the equation, same thing, minus t times the integrating factor. Now, the whole point of this process comes from here. Now, recall from your calculus, when we did the product rule, f times g, take the derivative of it, is equal to this right here, the product rule, right? Now, in this process is like thinking the product rule backwards. Here we arrive to this side. And to continue, we're gonna transform this back into the left hand side. And that's what's happening right here. This and this is the backwards product rule arrive to this derivative of e to the t over t times y. This thing turns into this right here. On this side, the t cancels out, so all we have is minus e to the t. Now, this equation, I'm going to take an integral of both sides. This will get rid of the derivative over here. And over here we just have to take the integral, which is right there, minus et plus c. 
don't forget the C. Now we want to make sure that we express our solution with y by itself. So y equals, get this one on this side, and there you have it, t over et times, in parentheses, minus e to the power of t plus c. Or distribute it out, I have a little bit nicer view, and here you have it. There it is, that would be it. Pretty simple. Please give a like to the video guys so other people can find it as well. Thank you for watching.